If you're married, newly married, engaged, or trusting God for marriage, stop. I want to pray with you. Today, we're praying for financial breakthrough in the area of marriage. As many of you would know, this is one of the top three causes for divorce in marriage. We're going to believe God together that he will bless your union. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray today that there is no marriage that is connected to these prayers that will lack in the area of financial provision. I declare that concerning their finances, they will receive help from above. I pray God's provision over every family vision represented. We come into agreement with your word today that says when a man finds a good wife, he obtains a favor from the Lord. For every married couple, let this favor begin to find full expression and manifestation in their union. Let it even begin to manifest in the area of finances. We declare and decree today that the finances of this family are guarded, sponsored, and girded by the Lord. We declare that their bonds shall always be full of plenty. We pronounce today that they live in a realm of abundance. We are coming into agreement with your word that says all of their needs are met according to God's great riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Father, today we're standing in unison, disconnecting our family fiscus from any generational curses or any generational cycles affecting our finances. Cycles perpetuating poverty, lack, or disadvantage. We plead mercy over our marriages of any bloodline-related issues. Issues that affected our fathers, our grandfathers, our forefathers in the area of finances. We sever ourselves from any evil entanglements that we have in the realms of the spirit in the area of finances. We divorce ourselves today from the spirit of lack. Deliver our marriages from the chains of financial bondage. Devil, we rebuke you out of our finances today in the name of Jesus. We come out of agreement with any covenants made with our marital finances, covenants known and covenants unknown, covenants we have entered into voluntarily or involuntarily. We divorce ourselves from any altar that speaks against our marital finances today. We come into agreement with the word of God today that says the righteous are never forsaken and their children will never beg for bread. We speak that over our marriages today in the name of Jesus. We speak financial breakthrough over our households. We declare that according to your word, we shall be lenders and not borrowers. We will live in houses we did not build and we will benefit from the most uncommon unusual, unprecedented, miraculous transactions in our marriages. We declare today that the arm of the Lord is strong over our marital finances. We speak divine supernatural lubrication over every transaction that has the potential to change the landscape of our marital finances. In our homes, we silence any strife, any marital disagreements, that are connected to the area of finances. We know that right now as we pray, there could be a couple that is fighting over finances. We silence any noise in the spirit concerning their finances. We rebuke the enemy's plan to starve their household. They lack no good thing and their children shall eat and be full. We even declare today that our spouses are walking in divinely orchestrated wisdom in the area of finances. We even declare that in business, in corporate, opportunities seek them out and find them. We declare that they are always in line for promotion. And we pronounce today that we are married to men and women who sit at the gate as leaders. Spouses with the ability to protect and provide for their households. We extend this prayer prophetically to singles. May you align them to responsible, financially sound spouses. Deliver them from lazy partners that seek to leech off of their gain and benefit. I speak equal yoking to every person that is trusting you for marriage. We declare that they will not be disappointed and they will certainly not be failed. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name we pray. Amen and amen.
Now, if you prayed that prayer with me and you are in agreement, type amen in the comment section. Share it with a friend who you know needs it. Save it for later use and I'll see you tomorrow for our next prayer in our 21-day prayer challenge. God bless you.